that they want to improve. Remember I said in the beginning, it boils down for the salespeople and even the managers managing the salespeople to two things, skill sets, activities. Am I doing the right activities? Yes, I am. I'm doing all the right things. Then it goes down to the second one, skill sets. Are you doing it in, in the best possible way? It's one or the other. I've had salespeople are going like, I know to follow up, I don't do it. I know to call my sole customers, I don't do it. My referrals, not getting them. Be backs, I know to call them, but I'm not doing it. I know how to do it, but I don't have the activity. Do you see the difference? So it's one or the other. Now, it may be both. You may have a salesperson going, I know I'm supposed to follow up unsold customers, but I don't know how to do it. Nobody's walked me through it. I don't, what am I supposed to say on the telephone call? I mean, I've called in the past, and I, hey, do you, you know, did you make your mind up? You made your decision up yet? And I usually get, no, I haven't, and if I'm interested, I'll call you back. And, you know, I just kind of figure, well, this must not be really productive. So it may be a case where they have no activity and they don't know how to do the skill set. So what a manager's ultimately got to determine in that coaching meeting is, does the salesperson need an activity? Do they need a skill set? Do they need both? Do they need some help in this? Or do they know the answers? They're just not executing on those areas. Last one you see there is new objectives. And that is ultimate and reaching your new objectives. Now, what you're going to need is you're going to need some coaching questions. Now, I'm sure you've got a lot of coaching questions. Sales managers are going to have a lot of coaching questions. They're going to come down to these categories. And I could make a, a list of a thousand coaching questions, but you don't really need it. What it's going to be is called an information question. This is what salespeople use in their counsel and discovery. It's the same principle for the sales manager. Look at this. Where, how, why, when, which, what, who. Give me an example. Describe to me. Expand on that thought for me. Those are all the questions that you want to ask. So, so how are you going to approach this? What's going to be your first step? What would be the second step? I love this idea on going after the be backs in this way. Uh, kind of walk me through the steps. Describe to me how you would make that phone call. You know, what, what, what kind of questions would you ask? Does everybody get the picture of this? How, when, why, where, which, what, who, when, give me an example, describe to me, expand on that thought for me. This is not rocket science. It's just don't tell people what to do. Ask them, what do you think you should do? I like this. It's a great idea. What, so walk me through this. H how's this going to unfold? What's your timeline? When are you going to start? You know, what, what's your start date? You know, how much preparation time do you actually need to do this? Uh, what kind of support will you need to make this happen? How can I, how can I personally support you in this? So it's going to be whatever question is relevant to the conversation you're in. So I put them up in this fashion because I don't necessarily, I wouldn't want a manager going in with five rote questions, you know, questions necessarily down. Be in the moment. Listen to that salesperson. When you hear them say something, sometimes to just simply state back what a salesperson said with a little enthusiasm and go, wow, this is awesome. I mean, you really put a lot of time, effort, and energy into it. I like, now, t talk to me about this part. I, I like what you said here. Expand on that thought for me, would you? How is a salesperson going to respond if a manager goes, wow, this is really good. I like this. you got some good, actionable things here. Talk to me about that one. And so what happens, a manager can go anywhere in the conversation, but a salesperson is going to feel like what? Wow, my manager really, he really likes what I came up with. But what it does is you're getting buy-in, you're getting commitment, change is going to happen, and you never have to use the word. You never have to say, hey, look, you need to improve your plan. They're improving your plan right there. So uh, these questions are great questions to use. It's simple. It's not easy because the tendency when you do these, and you're going you're to each get a chance to role play one of these, the tendency is to tell people, not ask them.